Okay, so most home automation solutions you can find right now on Amazon are DIY or you get these smart plugs which are good but they have their own cons. We'll get to that in a bit. Or you can get this smart socket that includes a lot of drilling and the risk of ruining your precious walls. And to add to that, there's lack of in-depth resources, tutorials and the risk of electrocuting yourself. So what's the solution? Well, you get wiser. No, I'm serious. This is Schneider Electric partnering with us to showcase their latest wiser range of home automation products and how it can automate your entire home without any visible modification to your current wiring. And the best part, the system remains hidden in plain sight. Like, wow. Here, take a look behind this switchboard is a module that controls the two-ton AC and I can either press the switch or control it through the app. Schneider Visor has three key important features. Seamless installation, without any damage, and on-time installation. Well, this is Pratik, you're already watching TechWiser. Things are about to get wiser. So let's subscribe and let's go. Now, before we get to the amazing part, let's quickly understand how this entire system works. So you have one single hub, this tiny little thing called gateway that communicates with the relays and modules, these green modules that go behind the switchboards and control your general appliances like fans, tube lights, AC, fridge, basically everything. So whenever you tap a button on your phone to control a light or just use Alexa to turn on the AC, the request from your phone goes to this gateway and then the gateway decides which device to trigger. I guess it makes sense, right? But now you might have a question. I can just put up a smart switch and just have an extension like this. The smart switch costs like 800 rupees and the extension costs probably 500 rupees in the local market. So you have app control, Alexa, boom, everything. Well, two problems. Let me show you. Here, now the switch has to be on, else the app, Alexa, the smart switch, no one can do anything. Second problem, it only supports up to 6 ampere. So heavy duty alliances like AC, fridge, which needs 18 ampere won't function on this smart switches or your extension. Now on the other hand with Schneider Visor, hold on, see this. The switch here is off and now when I say Alexa, turn on AC. Okay. And not just that, I can use the switch as a normal one. Off. Okay, so you might be wondering how all of these works. Well, you have a relay inside the entire housing. Now, Kaushal is the one who dealt with that portion. So over to you, sir. Tell us what a relay is. Okay, Pratik, let's talk about switches. So these buttons on the wall, these are called switches. When you switch it on, the light that it's connected to turns on. So a relay is basically a switch that you can control with your app. Makes sense, right? Let me show you what's behind this wall. Okay, so you see this module right here. Uh, inside this, there are relays. Some are meant for lights and fans. And then some are heavy duty that can control your AC switch. Not to mention you can get even smarter switches that can dim the lights and control the speed of the fan. Sounds amazing, right? It is. The automation kit comes as a package and you can choose a pack depending on how many rooms you wish to automate. So you need one gateway for the entire house, whatever may be your area. The gateway connects to your router via a LAN cable and then the small green color relays go inside every switchboard seamlessly to control bulb, fan, etc. And this is without damaging your wiring, switchboard or the wall. So existing homeowners can upgrade their old wiring as well. Now Schneider makes a hub or gateway that is common for entire household. If the hub is down, then hold on. Alexa, turn on AC. Sorry. The hub that device AC connected to isn't responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. Makes sense. It is down. And then there are modules for different applications and Snyder makes four different types that can control majority of your devices. First is the four channel relay that can control four different appliances such as light, fans, etc. But if you have an AC that you wish to turn on with the app, you have to dedicate an entire module to just control the AC. And it would easily bear the load. It's a very robust design and clever way of using it. I really like that one. Number three, there's a dimmer module that can dim two separate lights. And lastly, you have a fan controller module which 
actually controls the fan. And no, it just doesn't turn it on and off. Like in Indian household, it makes complete sense. Like here, Alexa, turn on the small fan to 50%. Okay. Alexa, turn on the small fan to 80%. Okay. Like if you are the person who doesn't like speaking, the app lets you control the fan percentage individually. And finally, you also have a curtain module that can slide the blinds every morning, but we don't have a motorized curtain over here, so I can't show you that. Okay, so these modules look very complicated and handling electricity on your own can be very risky, but you don't have to because you get free installation with the package and the service representative would get the entire system up and running for you within hours. You don't have to worry. So Schneider sent here Mr. Bharti and he was kind enough to walk me through the entire process. The installation process is very organized and these are the tools he used to install a module. I believe these are called end seal terminals, a crimping tool, some zip ties and a few strips of wire. Also controlling a fan now is a bit tricky because that knob thing doesn't work in this setup but Schneider has a way around it. You can adjust the speed of your fan using a regular bell switch. Here's how it works. You press 1 to turn on and run the fan at 50%. Press again for 50%, again for 75% and again for 100% and now when you do it, it's zero. It is really creative. So the installation is done. Here's the complete setup in action. You just open the app, tap device and find appliances listed nearby. You can now turn off the devices from here. And I agree, the app interface is very primitive, like who uses toggle switches in 2021? But here's the best part. You probably won't ever use the app if you have an Echo device or a Nest Home. You can link the Wiser system with Alexa and use just your voice to control everything. Alexa, stop. That's it for today. Here, let me show you. You just need to enable the Wiser skill and authenticate your details. Once after that, Alexa will take some time to discover the devices in your home. Once done, just ask Alexa to control the device. For example, this light is labeled night light in the Wiser app. So I can just say, Alexa, turn on the hanging light. I don't know why we named that, but yeah. Okay. And it works. So there you go, we got our house automated with the Wiser products and let me tell you, the process is smooth as a regular electrician visit, but in the end your house actually becomes better and smarter. Not to mention you can control AC fans and dim the lights which is a complex task even in DIY solutions. Been there, done that, you can check the video out over here. And the best part of Snyder Wiser is no visible wires or antennas and no ribbed plaster and all that matters if you stay on rent. You can't even tell there's a Z-Way module behind every switchboard in the studio. I hope you learned something new with this video. And we like doing these products to share with you. It's really fun, the entire project. Do give it a like and subscribe. I'm Pradeek signing off and I'll see you very soon. Ciao this time. <laughs>